I had I had this really strange accent because obviously my parents were Scottish and you know my mum and dad. They, although they bit, left Andrea. a million years ago, they <laughs> they have this really strong Scottish accent. Yeah. But I spent a lot of my years in the Caribbean. So I had this kind of weird Caribbean little bit of Scottish <laughs> accent. I, I, I literally <laughs> dropped that. I really yeah. love your accent because you I can always hear that underneath yeah. it, can't you? Yeah. But yeah. was that was that a, str a struggle for you fitting into different groups because just to be, yeah. you know, catapulted in as you were and yeah. make friends at a time in your life that you want to fit in mm. more than anything. Well, we also spent a year in the Philippines, which again I kind of missed that out a lot of the time. I never it, knew that. Yeah. My brother lived there for years and I, you never said to me, "Oh, I lived there." And I'm like, wow, you lived in the Philippines. Well, we live, we live there. Again, my you dad... You never told me. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we're doing this. I know. <laughs> I know, but it's really interesting. I know the place where you live. Well, I lived in an island called Mindanao, Mindanao which yeah. the Philippines is a load of islands, and it's the one right in the south. And again, my dad's an engineer, so it was to help kind of put a factory together. And if you think about the, the time said, it was 1978, I think it was. And... There was literally nothing around. You, we, you flew in on a small plane, and then it was like a four-hour drive down dirt roads. There were a few houses in the middle of a clearing, literally, and the electricity was run by a generator for only during the day, and then it would get switched off. And so I was taught by my mum for a year. Now, my mum was a hairdresser from Glasgow, and, again, this is before internet, so books used to get posted out mm. to us. And it was... That's quite hard. Well, we, we didn't have any choice. We didn't yeah. really know any any difference. So yeah. we had a. It was a. It was quite odd. But what what it was was again, kids nowadays wouldn't understand this. We had no TV other than there was one television set that was that that was in this. There was a, a building that say um, construction workers would come out, yeah. fly out, and help work, and this sort of thing. So they had one, and there were two videos. One was Star Wars, and one was The Sound of Music. That was all we had for a year. <laughs> so literally, wow. it'd be like, right, girls, what do you want? Star Wars or Sound of Music? <laughs> <laughs> so you must, know, uh, you must know every word off by heart, then. Well, when I was 11, and by this time we'd moved back to the Caribbean again, um, and actually, in the interim, we then moved back to, the, to Scotland for a little while and I moved in a, into a little village in Ayrshire called Tarbolton. So you were oh, how old at that point? I was... Uh, I turned 10 then. And it oh was so God, strange. All that before that age. Yeah. 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 It's not, it's and it's... I was like Mowgli out of the Jungle Book because I was so used to kind of no friends around, kind of doing my own thing, bare feet. I didn't understand British money. So I used to walk... My mum would send me down to the shop, go with bare feet and just kind of hold it out. Go like that. <laughs> and how did the how yeah, did the other been... kids sort of respond to you then? I don't really. I think they thought I was really weird, really strange. Mm. And uh, did they bully you because of your accent or anything? Because you were different. You were different. I, I was very different. And when we moved back to Trinidad again, like I say, when I was ten, and then we moved back to the UK properly when I was fifteen, I did get bullied then. Mm. And I think that was because. Um, I was 15 is a really weird age, mm. and I moved into I suppose it, it was called the fourth year, but I don't know what year that's called nowadays in terms mm. of how the kids' schooling went. And I got horribly bullied up until the end of sort of GCSEs. But interestingly enough, although I was very different, I remember the very very first day mm. of school, the teacher, a really bored teacher, reading out all our names on on the list, and he went Andrew, and he's, he's literally like that. You know, next, Andrew McLean. And you had to say whether you got your... There you go, that's what I look like then. Uh, whether you uh, had school dinners... Great hair. Whether, thank you very much. <laughs> um, school dinners, uh, whether you brought your own packed lunch type thing or whether you went home. And he said, Andrew McLean, and I went, sandwiches. <laughs> like... <laughs> And I can remember, he literally... Just say it, don't sing it. In slow motion, and he literally looked up like that and went... Who said that? <laughs> and I, and I, it didn't twig that my accent was yeah. weird. I just thought I'd said the wrong thing, and I should have, you know. I mean, said we're, we're laughing about it, but because you're telling a great story, but it must have been really hard. That I mean, imagining coming, mm. having travelled all around, and coming into a school, mm. and thinking about the potential of making friends mm. and people being. Cruel, really, to you. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm, I'm laughing about the accent thing and all that sort of stuff, mm. but actually that why wasn't why I was bullied. It didn't help, mm. but why I was bullied was because one day in PE there was a, a girl being horrifically bullied, like girls can do in mm. the PE changing rooms. 
And I remember I, I and everyone was just ignoring it. And I, I was, sort of, why is nobody doing anything? So I just went over to them and said, stop it, just leave her alone. And she was clearly never going to be capable of fighting mm. back. There was mm. a big pack of them. And literally it was, they all went, Zoom. It's your turn. And that was me for the next two years. And it was, it, it was truly awful, actually. And I never told my parents because I thought they'd feel guilty about bringing me back to the UK because I'd never experienced anything like that yeah. in, in the Caribbean. And also, I kind of thought I could deal with it myself. And it was, like, for example, I'm very creative and quite arty. And I heard at that time I was wanting to do, I did my art O-level, wanted to do A-level, was thinking about doing an art foundation course. And they ripped up all of my artwork. You know, all, all the stuff that was supposed to, you know, go mm. towards my exams. They would threaten to kill me, they'd follow me home. The, uh, you know, in the, you, I never went to the loo the whole time I was at school because oh. they'd follow so you So this in. was extreme? It was. It was awful. It was truly awful. Oh. And on the last day of school, they... Um... Didn't stop you going to school, though. Mm. No, what's... When I think back on it now, no, I, off because of that. Mm. I just used to stagger my timings. So I used to kind of... Um, I didn't... I would keep busy until I kind of thought, right, I'm sure they must have got bored of waiting now, and then I'd try and walk home on, on my own. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I know. I mean, it sounds awful, but I, just, I still kind of carried but on. you were I mean... glad to walk out of school for the last day? No, actually, the last day was awful, because on the last day, they actually said to me, um, the, all bets are off, because once school finishes, you, we won't get in trouble from here. So we're going to wait for you outside of school, and we're going to get you. So I literally, the last day of school, everyone was like, woo! And, and I, I, I mean, I didn't hide. I just kind of kept busy and literally for about an hour or two hours and waited till every last person had left oh, the school and then I, then I went home. But, you know, it's all been all right. Well, there's I'm not here. in any way to make light of that situation because yeah. it does sound really yeah. extreme, but you have had the last laugh, if, if you like, because... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah.